welcome to another episode of Gamma Concepts with Jennifer Esco. Today, yes, today, we are on episode 7. And we are going to create a color palette and brand board using one of my photos. So I can show you how easy it is to create your brand using the template that I have for you. You can... You can... <laughs> you can access this brand board template using this link here. Before we start, if you find this video helpful, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification button or bell to get you notified and updated of my new videos. And let's get started! <laughs> First, we go to Canvas Color Palette where we just upload our image and then it will give us all the five colors that are inside that image, which is really neat. It will also give us all of the hex codes that we can copy by clicking this color here and um, you can just paste it inside the brand board template. That's pretty neat, right? So on the blank circles there for the color palette, just repeat the process of copying the um, hex codes and putting it inside of the circles. Okay. And there you have it. You have completed your color palette. And this is mine. Um, you can see it's mostly pinks and browns based from the image here. Right now, I am just putting in all of the hex codes inside of the um, text there so that I can have a copy of the exact color codes. Now, we are going to create our logo. So this is just a dummy profile. So, gagawa lang ako ng sarili kong logo out of the blue. And what I want to do is just create a word mark using the fonts that I already have here on the side. You can do the same thing. So just choose the text that you want to use and put in the name. So thinking what name to use. So, um, but I did figure out that I want this to be pajama. Once you're good with the text, choose the effects button there. It will give you a wide range of effects for your text. Uh, what I did use for this logo is the spline effect, which gives me like an outline um, color of the text while having an offset colors inside. So I chose a different color for the outline and then a different color for the inside. And I just did the same for the word pajamas with the slightly different colors. Okay. And now I'm going to put in some elements that I want to we want my logo to have, which is a moon with stars because pajamas are worn at night. And I chose this very cute moon with stars logo that's kind of hand drawn with pastel colors. I'm gonna just gonna resize this and change the colors that are being used because violet is not part of the color palette that I have so I'm going to change them to a slightly pinkish color Alright And once I'm happy with that moon element I'm going to add another image around there which is a sticky hat Right there. So 
instead of blue, I change it to pink again with all of the color palettes that I have inside. And I'm just going to put it on top of the letter P, the word pink, just like a hat. Alright, making sure that that image is above the text so that it really looks like it's being worn by the letter P. And uh, so I'm not yet satisfied with all of the elements that I have. I want to put some stars inside. And uh, even though I try to search it in the elements menu, uh, instead I just use the same moon element that I have. Um, and then crop out the star inside of that one, which you can do on every other image. So like so, you just click on the crop button and then crop the star, resize it, uh, change the angles and put it where I think it would look really nice. Alright. And when I'm finally satisfied with how it looks, I now change the branding to pink pajamas. It's really cute, actually. Now I'm gonna create an, the alternative logos using the main logo that I have. I just basically disassembled what I have and made little bits and pieces of the logos in uh, that I can use in different scenarios like um, if I need a logo that's more landscape uh, this is what I have just the word pink pajamas and I can also just use the um, moon element for some decoration and also I did um, a more simpler word mark that only has the P and P um, text with all of the elements here. And it's just for resizing all of the three alternative colors that I have. You can do this for your own designs with your own logos so that you have different looks and feel of your brand logos. All right, now we have created alternative logos um, and the color palette is also done. What we need to do now is to put in our um, photo inspiration or image inspiration. I'm going to put my own image of me in my pajamas here, but I need two more images. So what I'll do is go to Pinterest and find some inspiration photos that I like. Uh, I started off with pink pajamas, but I didn't like what I see here, so instead, I kept on searching, and still searching, until I changed that to pink polka dot, and I found this, yeah, this really cute stationery. And then I found this one with glitter, gold glitters and pink stripes. So I downloaded that image. And then um, I need another inspiration, a different one. It's supposed to be pink moon, but then I realized why not just sailor moon. Which is also really cute. And I like the magic ones sailor moon has. <laughs> Someone drew it from Deviant Art, so I just downloaded it. And then I'm just going to put it inside these frames for my photo inspiration, which will keep me on track whenever I design um, my brand. I'm going to use this as inspiration. Alright, logo is done, palette is done, inspiration done. We are now left with the font type. Now, I'm going to change all of them to the font types that I've already been using with the logos. Um, I'm just changing the, the names there. And I usually just use two to three font types 
for any brand just to make it look clean and consistent with the design that I have. Alright, and now I'm just going to change all of the colors that align to the brand colors. And we now have a newly designed brand board with complete with the logo, color palette, brand inspiration, alternative logos, and lastly, the font types. Now that we've finished creating your brand board, I'd like you to go to this link so you can have a copy of the brand board template that I've created just for you, which you can use directly from your Canva account. This link will be here, uh, also in the captions below, so you can easily access it for your own use and you can use it for your client project. I do hope you learned a lot uh, from this video and enjoy creating and hopefully let's create together. Wait, before you go, I have an announcement. I have a master class in collaboration with Ultramom! And I'm excited to teach and share with you my skills in graphic design and branding. And we have our early bird rate here up until July 19th. And our classes start at in August 3! <laughs> you can have all of the details of the master class here on this link. And this is not just a masterclass for graphic design, but instead you will have six courses in all. So it's a six in one course masterclass. The details of my masterclass for graphic design will be linked here or on the captions below. <laughs> Hope to see you in our August 3 class. Bye!